friends, we're working at 9 o'clock, ne? 9 o'clock, the national anthem will sound. But then we started. Yeah. President, <laughs> As now, ban. When the band is out, can you see? Pass, pass. The band is doing. Yeah, yeah, camera man.
Something in your own dialogue. So, for my arm, we will see you go. So, Wednesday, we say, dear friend, Labandu,
Okay, so sneaky leg we say in the band, spoke a come on the sis. Chaplain Ube on Sunday.
We shall get our opening prayer from from Chaplain Mukub and Galassi's top. a season and time for everything in this world. Today you have granted us a chance to celebrate the life of our loved one and we want to say thank you. Even though we are finding it hard to accept what has happened, we know that everything works out together for good. God give us peace that passes all understanding as we start this program. Give us the strength to share the beautiful moments that we shared with your departed in Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you, one God, wealth without end. Amen. Amen. Good morning, Mr. President. Uh, good morning, Premier. 
Mbuli se Oonga malungu wa koyo hapa e parlamende Kuzo zongi zikaba Omeye Oba koyo ba fela Oma spala uwa shukene Mbuli se Na kui mgozi ze Tuzo mtonya Na umane nchaze lwa kengo banyi Mbwa koku wabu wabu Kodwa ndia mbona ya nusa nuzo Mbuli se ke Oongu mdo koyo hapa Mbagati Simele kwa kena mtlanji Zani tkela kwa ya raba Kwa agu figi tuba mtlao mbili Dela nifike la nani Nibe ingale nye hii tuba Mbulele kwa sifulela Ngo Le program Mfuchane kwa kuru Kwa enza Tkela nyezi te tuba Zibambe blonda Kwa zienzi tete Zibe sifuchane At least by 11.30 kufine kwa sikumi akuko bantu manditase mguku wabazo zoma ekaleni kwe pokisi na nini na la pokisi iza wabarola shomu kwe wonge umdu oza uteta sister elo eso ekute manditase sa ufumana ke mguku umdu oza zosifunde la ii opishwa ke Mbukwa lapa hii programini Mbukwa la sifunde la hii pishwari Kumiz nosipo kuma ala in a scorecard. for the United States of America in 1914 to further his education with the help of the African Methodist Episcopal Church uh, Scholarship. He was admitted, he was first admitted to Dr. Booker T. Washington Tuskegee University where he completed a degree in agriculture. He then enrolled at the University of Minnesota at Northwestern University where he qualified as a medical doctor, one of the first 10 black South Africans to do so. On his return to South Africa in 1927, Dr. Kuma opened a surgery in Sophia Town, and on 21st October 1931, he married Amanda Priscilla Nozizwe Mason from Liberia, West Africa. In June 1931, Nozizwe gave birth to her daughter, Nozipo Elizabeth Kuma, who died in Swaziland in 1972. On 29 April 1934, Nozizwe passed on as a result of complications while giving birth to their son, Tutuzeli Alfred Kuma. On, eight, on 18 May 1940, Dr. Kuma married Mary Hall from North Carolina in the USA, who passed away on 10 September 1982. 
1940, he was elected as the seventh president of the African National Congress, the ANC, and served three consecutive terms. During his term of office, in 1943, the ANC membership was extended to women for the first time, and the ANC Women's League, Women's League was formally established in 1944. The ANC Youth League was also formed. In 1946, as the unofficial delegate of the African people of the African people at the United Nations, Dr. Kumar affirmed support for the anti-colonial struggle in the former South Southwest Africa, now Namibia. Under his leadership, the ANC forged a close relationship with the Natal Indian Congress and the Transvaal Indian Congress, respectively. This resulted in the signing of what became known as the Three Doctors Pact, involving the doctors Yusuf Dadu, Abi Kuma, and Monty Naika. As a preacher in the Amy Church, he became involved in the leadership of the Wilberforce Institute in Shabal, an educational institution affiliated to the Amy Church. His involvement with the Wilberforce Institute was motivated by the fact that it was the second of the only two educational institutions founded by black people in South Africa at the time. In April 2012, the South African government posthumously awarded Dr. Kuma the National Order of Mutuli in gold for his exceptional contribution to the national democratic struggle for the freedom and for his outstanding contribution to the struggle against colonialism on the African continent and the struggle for a free, democratic, non-racial and non-sexist South Africa. Dr. Kuma died at the former Baragwana Hospital, now Krisani Chris Baragwana Hospital in Johannesburg on 27 January 1962 and was buried on 1st February 1962 at the Brixton Cemetery, Johannesburg, next to his first wife, Nuzizwe. Rest in peace, Ndila, Nyezile, Mkangaza Kawo Mili, Ndwani Semaiteni, Fulela Gwaneta, Mdini, Ndulino Pezu, Chucha, Mbondo Mise, Am, Dengendo. celebrator though it is a special funeral but it is also a celebration of a life that meant so much for the country so much for the African National Congress so much for the family See
nizami lepa abantu nde bon baba saban inzi ngwa sabo spaga meso nge ngoku apa nogo shugu misikas kwa da kabantu baba saban da baza wa kule kawe kasha liam ngoku kesi zau kubega ne program yetu mandi acknowledge ngosi upata kide ulumisa wa paka tuke yetu ati lizi ndapu na mwaya ni ntaze lake kukwako kwa baanyi kwa spaka mise uprimi ya wetu wakaze azo mape tamu kwa mabuli se amkele zonge indu endu ezu koyo pata mshanji ndi ndi aso kukwaka msare nguwa makewe no paka niswa ndi imu honorable premier please come forward Ngozi kakolo mpati nkubo manibuli sefuwe kala Your Excellency Mr. President Siri Ramaphosa Ne cabinet I've seen a couple of ministers here And the monu program director Aganyibon Anibon Agalka ni abon Sintongi Ni abon Ni Mbuli se ikaya lama ndihila Izi shobo Nezalama na mambo ndo mise onke Alapa Inko keli Zalapa oso dolob Bonke Aba patiswa bepondo Amalungwe pala mente Oteba Bonke ke abandu Balape ngobo Nabanda basuka kwinda onke ndawo Namacho nisi akaluba namacho Nanga aga president Singa bantu bezi ndo wapen ngobo Na mapu ulisa nga aga singa kesi Funu pungu uzi ba se zento nguko Abantu balapa ba pola nga nga Presidente Di pagame la ukwa mke la wena Na bantu Aba bone kufane le kili babazo Kitale mini nati na mtanje Aba ema ndilene Presidente Di kwa mke la Wenda wo Engi ingi, bogo mengo ya lafe South Africa hinda kuxe ngob, kodwa hinda wenkulu, gemengo yenzuko mo, zomza bala zomwe kule mo ya bad bagut. Apa blenda o ya global o A P Kuma, kuglota da usisul, kugloma ma usisul, kuglota da ukrisiani. Kuglotata uvuisile mene Kuglotata urobet khesha Bonke magulenda o Eti banisa ingobo itomo unyene tofimbala So yinda o gele ekebe kakulu Wakwanda umbali yom zabalazo Kukwa kulo kamele hashi Apa gulenda o kukwa kulo tata ukobolo No tata haba nins Haba teba negeze la ngobo mbabo Ukren seks ndo kukubay mkule kwa yabani baguti Ia fezeki isu President usifikela silipondo sinye mbazana Gentekele ye pasi ete yenze ikapa kutendane Ya suba ili pefumlo yabani uaba yi 25 Jengo primi ya walapa president Tani kwa la sela Imeko ya langos Tibona inkungu Yo puti so ekufnega sili kaulezi sile lwa bandu baguti basezi lali Kubanga bandu wapa jala haba basi pali mele kula pas o mama Haba zi pensioners na bandu wanaba nge la langa ke Li langa lo kupata lwa kwe kranti kusasa Boonge abandu bepondo baye kunyazelege bapeke tolopi nga kubi hapa ema pangi Si zamuse benza ke president ba maipele ke lento Silungi sinle Kodwa Silungi se indoko kwa abandu baguti grant za Bobazi ni kwekweza na obaguzu Lapa kumpati sowe pos Se iteta le indoko kwa masilungi Si akwange la ke president Apa ulenda awo Echebeka kulu inkosi Zezo laguti Ama kwati alapa Ama kwati ike mzolo Sisizu wanakumusha baba te Jeng bana mampu nungi selapa Zonge izizwe zilapa 
sisiti ke mongameli ngoko kuba usimnikel thuba bekungekho lula president akukhe lula because he influence yezi ukokheli he influence a national everywhere they go national really demands them bekunzima noba sibaboyise i family kaithi masibaboyise siyavuya ke mongameli xa uvumile kuba i family yathi ukuthi ukubuyiswa kwala mathambo ayiyoncubeko kubo bubomu kuba abaphethe kangakamnandi banamahlaba kuba la mathambo engekho phakathi kwekhaya so ukubuyiswa kwethu la mathambo namhlanje ukuqinisekisa lona ngelishwa ke president yayazi ingxoxo emalunga nokubuyiswa kwezinkokheli izolo bendikunye notato mandashe ifemeli yakwa robert khesha yathi icela mathambo ka robert khesha abuye yeah. isi enkethi ke mongamela ifane nezinye provinces kuba abantu balapha funeka bafuduke baye kwezinye indawo khona ukuze bafumane ubomo obuncono singurhulumente ke wale sixth administration sisakhela phezu kwesisweko esakhiweyo ngohulumente bangaphambi sizama ukuqinisekisa into kokuba amahlwa alihlaza azawuba khona apha eastern cape khona ukuze abantwana balapha babe nobomi obuqaqambileyo nekamva eliqaqambileyo belapha kwezindawo zakuthi bantu basengcobo ke ngabantu be african national congress ngabantu balohulumente ngabantu abaqinisa ukuthi kokuba lohulumente makasebenze afunge angajiki khona ukuze impumelelo yabantu bakuthi egqibeleleyo ifezekiswe yanamkela ke bantu basemzini apha kulomhlaba president ngowalapha engco ndile namba eshavi ndafunda pha kodwa yonke into yami nje apha engco ekhaya nje is about 15 km usuka apha nangoku bayafuna ngqide pha xa ngisuka apha ndifumane ngwezithile zokuhlala so xa ndilapha ke uyilonto ya vuya ke president bundi nyanzeli siba manje zothetho ba uyanibona kula program andikho ba bendizikhuphile ndiyabona ba mandla mancinci ke ngoku kuba ufika wawatshintsha amandla bendithi ndinawo wathi manje izothetha bendinika igumkani wamkele izizwe kumhlaba wazo siyabulela ke president namkelekile kosi mandila ngensebenziswano nokubambisana nosinyamezela side sibe kulendawo namhlanje siyabulela inkosi kakhulu Tengosika kulo prime. Tengosika kulo prime. Yabona ke ndiya kusikela bathethe. Lamandla amo kusikela wena bathethe. Yawadlulisa ngoku bakodwa usikelwe ndimi bungekho programi. kodwa ke anikhali kakhulu zawo thathu ndokuba eh kuba ke noko uyashiyana nanqawu lapha ngaphansi ke ungangabonakali noba wenze inceba eh enkosi siyabulela ngoku ekufike ithuba loba sifuma ne isithethi eh kubambela kumkani u Azanathi Jalinjebo azana lizwe eh aze ngaphambili kuba ke u Prince Luzuko matiwana okhoyo ku program yenu kuthiwa kakafiki naye kakafiki naye kakafiki siyaqhuba ke ngoke masifumane ilungu le family eh ubulelana ixuma aze ngaphambili azothethela i family yasinceda wena sizakuqhuba eh kwenzele ba sigcebe ngexesha endihlekelwe apha into ba eh unen khawulezi su president eh ufuna into ekhawuleza i will do that ke because nano president we have something that uh, unsettled eh uh, we have an unresolved um, a challenge ndibe ke ngolo hlobo so i will do anything to ensure that yamnceda uh, it assist him so that he will come to my rescue at some point in time eh silindeke apa 
ubulela nikuma unumza na ubulela nikuma oze apa ngoza tetela ikai The President of the Republic of South Africa, Comrade Cyril Ramaphosa, the Premier of the Eastern Cape, Honorable Ministers, MECs, MPs and MPLs present here today, Mayors and Councillors, Board Members of Dr. A.B. Puma Foundation, Ingosi Zabatimbu as Koyo Apa, Nengosi Zamakwat as Koyo Apa, Amandila Onyezile Okanga Zagao Mil, Onjoni Semaji, O Fulela Gwane Totegua, Umzi of Manzana. Nabandu Basse Nobo, Nepondo, Nepomacoloni. Ladies and gentlemen, we meet here today to celebrate the life of a gallant fighter, Dr. Abi Kuma, a son of the soil. Dr. Abi Kuma was father to many, he was brother to his siblings, a doctor to sick people an architect to his organization, the African National Congress. We as Kuma family felt obliged to our dream that he must come back home and rest with his forebears. Mongameli, now a premier. Silol Sapo Lomandila Sizifumana Siwonge Gile Ngokubana Lama Tambo Kaba Umkulu Abe Namshanje Ashe Diklom Shaba Kavit There was time premier where we thought that Dr. A.B. was forgotten but today we can see the light. We would like to thank the department Katizrak, Esebenze Gangangogo, Ukubana Lamatambo, Abenam Sanze, Aba Alap, Sibulela Kakuluke Kumpati Swa. Nabandu Bake, Ebebe Kukuzele, Ugwenza Lom Sebezi, Umkulugangaga. We would also like to acknowledge the role played by National Heritage Council of South Africa, more especially the CEO advocate, Sonobile Manuodua, who happens to be the face of the heritage in our country. During the most difficult period of exhumation of the remains of our great-grandfather, an icon from Johannesburg, we will rely on the assistance of the National Heritage Council to ensure that the spiritual presence of our icon becomes a centerpiece of changing lives 
of the community of Manzana and the neighboring communities in line with the applicable protocols from our partners, National Heritage Council, and also the clarion call of Tumamina by His Excellency, President Cyril Madamela Ramaphosa. Our wish as a family is to honor Dr. Abi Tuma in a most befitting way as he was a visionary an internationalist diplomat, skillful negotiator, unifier, academic, a medical doctor, a father, husband, and above all, my multi-dimensional upright leader. The best to honor his legacy is for our government to consider building precinct that will be a multi-purpose center that entails amongst the, the restoration of their resting place, interpretation center, museum, a library, a medical facility, and a statue. Such a living memorial will contribute to positive spin-offs like employment through heritage tourism and social cohesion. We will also hope that this, rest, that this resting of our icon, Dr. A.B. Tuma and his wife will be protected and declared a national heritage. Kinebe Mkomazi, I hope we'll rely on your leadership to convert our dreams into a reality. Siabule lake gendi ma oso itanile kinebe. Sinete mba loko bana ke premier uyautike nje gobana ubuso stwel ukubana lomsebenzi ube uyimpumele uzibona kalise ke kwesha ukuze zithi zonke ezi zinto sizinqwenelayo ngamandla wakho nanjengomninawa sizibone zisenzeka ngalo mazwi ke ndifuna ukuthi silikhaya lamandiya namabondomise Ngokunjalo nomzi wonke walapha kumanzana sibamba ngazo zozibini sithi ke lamathambo ukulala kwawo apha akubalilize koko kuya kuthi zonke izinto ebezimiceli mngeni kule ndawo zibe nosombululeka siyabulela As a book back a premier, the Ninga Hang in Bay, the Babo and Babonanga Bang, and Vulcan Segispa, the Nigua Bonga Bandavala Pines out tea, and the bar of knowledge. Mushaba Owens got figure, Mrs. Wife, Panangora and got paid daily in the Ofnerandi for many as our class. A quarter gave Paradigue to. I say acknowledge it. Some lomo way to Upper Eastern Cape, the Speaker of the Provincial Legislature, Umama Osols August Corner. I can go Minister to Abizaban Babona Yoke, Kubaralogu, Arafi Gilamaka, Magumutas. Conomamus <laughs> 
Kamgokba <laughs> Si wonge kile tina Wabela na nawe nge silili Esi ngambu yoko zaali Kumula ngotolo kawe la makawe Lomia lezo Uvela kufemili ya kwa sisu Isa haki mfana kiti Kauti beke ngosi Kauti beke ngosi Kauti beke ngosi Nando kwenza na nzaze za sindosuzi za kwenye Eee, ngogo chola mbeku melba ni ngechisiluktuli 
President. <laughs>
Amanda. Amanda. Viva ALC Iga Dr. A.B. Koma Viva. Viva. Program Director MEC Voko. Premier of uh, Eastern Cape Province, Oscar Mabuyan, the Kuma family, ministers and deputy ministers, members of parliament, members of the provincial legislatures, members of councillors of our local government structures, Representatives of Amampondo Mise and Abatembu Houses, traditional leaders amongst us, the leadership of the African National Congress at national level, provincial level, at regional level and local level. Members of the ANC Women's League, the Veterans League, the Youth League, and the leaders of the Alliance, as in COSATU, the South African Communist Party, and SANCO. Religious leaders were amongst us. Babu Mangocha, who is the CEO of the National Heritage Council, President of NAFCO, Kuba Matuman, fellow mourners and compatriots. The Cheka Nifiga, the Amgelwe Umdeni Wagakuma. And I was a bit surprised and taken aback. Kabend Bulisa. Omunye ukalem of whom Buddhism is caused. Dafu, Omunye one Buddhism, that's the suit. That's the suit to say Munati. Omunye one Buddhism, Nesivenda, Espele. That's when I realized Uguti, who Dr. A.B. Koma was truly a cosmopolitan leader of our movement. And that cosmopolitan attribute has flowed into the family as well. But my joy was actually lifted to another level when one of the family members told me that he was a leader of the National Union of Mine Workers at Val Reeves and participated in the great miners' strike in 1987 and led workers at the mine where he was working and he's a great-grandson of Dr. A.B. Koma. So I feel at home. It is an honor to join this congregation today the reinterment of Dr. A.B. Koma is an occasion that in many ways is tinged with sadness as we remember the great loss that was his passing on the 27th of January in 1962. But we are also comforted and our hearts are at peace for we have brought home our father and he is now going to lie amongst the people that he so loved. The Bible says that as Jacob was about to pass away, he said, I am about to be gathered to my people, so bury me with my fathers. Today, after many years, our father, our friend, our brother and our leader has at last been brought home to us, his people. He has been brought to his final resting place 
in this land of his forebears. We have accorded him a special official funeral as a mark of honor, but also a mark of recognition for the contribution that O Dr. A.B. Kruma made to our struggle. But we have also given the honor to the family and to the men and women of Enwobo who gave us such a fine, distinguished, and illustrious son. At Heroes Park, a statue has been erected. It stands tall as a tribute and a reminder to the people of the Eastern Cape of the great responsibility you shoulder to carry on his legacy. It has been 58 years since Alfred Batini Kuma passed away, but the footprint that he left behind was deep and cannot be erased. He was the first black South African to become a medical doctor, a qualification he earned abroad through great sacrifice. When he returned home, he campaigned for the right of all South Africans to receive decent standards of health care. He appealed to the colonial authorities of the time for more doctors and nurses to work in black communities so that they can care for the needs of our people. He believed that neither race nor social circumstance should be a barrier to medical health care, and he rejected the notion of inferior medical health care being dispensed to our people. But he also dismissed the idea that inferior medical education should be offered to black doctors and nurses. It was under the leadership of Dr. Alfred Kuma that the African National Congress adopted the African Claims document at its annual conference on the 16th of December in 1943. This seminal document laid out the African people's demands for full equality and citizenship rights. Most importantly, it prioritized the South African people's right to land ownership. It made an unequivocal demand for a fair redistribution of land, rightly describing the race-based system of land distribution as unjust and contrary to the interests of our country, South Africa. The document rightly declared that the right to own, to buy, to hire, or to lease and occupy land individually or collectively, both in the rural and in the urban areas, was a fundamental right of citizenship. It is of great significance that our nation will soon see the realization of some of the social reforms that Dr. A.B. Kuma championed for most of his life. In terms of health care, in terms of land reform, and many others. For the first time in the history of our country, every South African man, woman, and child will have equal access to health care when the national health insurance becomes a reality. That we have reached this point in the culmination of a journey that was first embarked upon by Dr. Koma and other pioneers in our liberation struggle is quite a significant achievement. Also this year, the democratic government will be forging ahead with the process of land reform and redistribution guided by the recommendations 
of the Presidential Panel on Land Reform and Agriculture. This will culminate in the amendment of Section 25 of our Constitution that will entrench land tenure for all the people of our country. In doing so, we are giving effect to the provisions of the African Claims document, the Freedom Charter, and above all, our Constitution. Dr. Thoma left a profound and lasting impression in the annals of our country. Nowhere was this felt greater than in the African National Congress, the organization that he led from 1940 to 1949 as its seventh and then, at the time, longest serving president. He inherited an ANC that was beset by challenges during a time of great political upheaval in our country. There was an upsurge in independent social movements and independent trade unions were on the rise. A wave of housing, transport and workers strikes were also all being led independently of the ANC. Under President Koma's leadership, the ANC was built into a strong and cohesive political force, leading the Congress Alliance into a program of mass action in the 1950s. He understood that the ANC must be built from the grassroots and that its strength and power lay in the branches. He traveled across the country to recruit members, to open up new branches, and to appoint organizers. He mobilized previously neglected constituencies, such as workers, chiefs, communists, the youth, and women. In 1943, equal membership, as we had, membership rights were extended to women for the very first time in the ANC. And in this regard, we pay tribute to his second wife, Madi Hall Tuma, who led the ANC Women's League from 1943 to 1949. She organized and mobilized women raised funds and established the League as a vibrant, program-oriented and based organization. We also pay tribute to Dr. Kuma's first wife, Amanda Mason, who unfortunately died very early in their matrimonial life in 1934. They are both mothers of our nation, and we remember and honor them. It was during Dr. Kuma's presidency that the ANC Youth League was formed. He held political discussions with Nelson Mandela, Oliver Reginald Tambo, Walter Sisulu, Anton Lembede, and other youth leaders of his time, and encouraged the formation of the youth organization to take forward the aims of the liberation struggle. At the ANC Youth League inaugural meeting in 1944, he said of the young leaders, I know they are launching their movement in the interest of the national movement. I know they are not self-seekers, but patriots out, of, out to strengthen the mother body, the African National Congress. And indeed, the ANC Youth League revitalized the mother body and has a duty to continue doing so. <clears throat> Dr. Koma emphasized that the liberation movement was a broad church and that accommodation of ideological difference was critical to its unity. 
He stood firmly against racial and ethnic chauvinism. It was during his tenure that in March 1947, the ANC and the Indian Congresses of the Transvaal and Natal signed what became known as the Doctor's Pact, setting the basis for more meaningful cooperation amongst all oppressed South Africans. Dr. Kuma took the ANC from a position of relative weakness to become a formidable political force that the ANC then became and the ANC is today. He set it on a trajectory that ultimately led to the freedom of our country. We draw many lessons from his life. He will be remembered for having instilled in the ANC a culture of robust intellectual engagement. He believed a healthy exchange of ideas was necessary and that ideological differences should never hold an organization to ransom. Those differences should never tear it apart or undermine its coherence, leadership, and authority. Dr. Kuma was also a great champion of financial inclusion for women and believed they must be economically empowered and included in the economy. He was moved by the plight of African women who had to sell home-brewed beer to survive and support their families. In 1931, he testified at the Native Economic Commission and the Liquor Commission where he said that instead of stigmatizing the women for what was then illegal activity, it was an illegal system that left women vulnerable to poverty that was really to blame for all the suffering that the women were going through. Today is International Women's Day, and we once again affirm our commitment as government to making women full and equal participants in our economy. We will forge ahead with implementing policies and programs that give effect to this, whether it is in reforming public procurement laws to ensure more beneficiaries are women, in ensuring that the rights of women are protected when it comes to ownership of land or being firm in our resolve to stamp out gender-based violence. As we were chosen as chair of the African Union at the AU summit a few weeks ago, as South Africa, we decided to focus on a number of important issues in terms of what we will be advocating as chair of the African Union. And one of those is the empowerment of women, and one is ridding our continent of the scourge of gender-based violence. We've committed ourselves also as a government to address this scourge and have embarked on a number of programs and initiatives that are aimed at achieving precisely this. We know that here in Engobo, women face many challenges and that their life is very hard. We know that empowering a woman is empowering a family, it is also empowering a community and ultimately a nation. That is why we will continue to work hard to ensure that the problems 
that are facing the women of Engobo. Like access to water, access to proper housing, to land and to health care are addressed. But we will also seek to address some of the challenges that Premier Mabuyani spoke about. The issue of improving the infrastructure in our rural areas, particularly roads. I was also saddened when we heard the report of the accident, the bus accident, that resulted in the death of 25 people and injured so many others. It talks to infrastructure development, infrastructure development that we need to focus on to make sure that we can deliver a better life to the people of our country. We have inaugurated the new district development model through which we want to change the way we deliver services to our people and ensure that jobs and economic opportunities don't just go to those who live in the cities and in the metros of our country. We are looking at ways to breathe new life into the rural economies of our country and how the resources of places like Ngobo and indeed many other rural places across the length and the breadth of our country can be used to support new industries, new businesses, cooperatives that are led by women, and new initiatives that can ensure that the young people of this area are also made participants in the economy of our country. As part of the land reform process, we are going to ensure that women do have access to land and are able to become owners of land and that we as government give them our full support to work the land. We will move in this sixth administration to embark on infrastructure projects that will deliver water, that will also construct bridges so that when our children go to school, they do not have to cross overflowing rivers and sometimes stay away from schools. We will make sure that our learners also get the transport that will get them to school on time so that they can learn properly. There is much that we need to do and as we announced in our State of the Nation address in the sixth administration much as our economy has reached is going through a challenging time as government we will deploy resources particularly for infrastructure build that will improve the infrastructure layout of rural areas in our country. Here in the Eastern Cape, Udala Siteta Getam El Elkulu Umzimvugu. We've been talking about it for many, many years. We have now resolved that Sizalaka Elidam. Minister Sisulu, working together with other colleagues, we are going to go through a process of building this dam on a modular basis. Safu Manuguti, Eli Dam, Zizafuna Imalenins, Saatige, Masilake, in stages. And it is possible to build a dam in stages and the work 
has started to lay the ground so that we can start building this dam in stages. We want to deliver this dam and as I said during sauna I will be visiting the area myself Fellow mourners, Dr. Alfred Kuma was an exemplary leader in times of both difficulty and stability. His stewardship of the ANC and before that of the All African Convention was defined by revolutionary discipline ethics and commitment to the greater good, the liberation of South Africa. His tenure was free of scandal and suggestions of impropriety. We should follow in his footsteps in the positions that we have been entrusted with in national government, in our provinces and in our municipalities. He took his role very seriously and discharged his role as President of the African National Congress faithfully. He was a president who forged consensus and unity. He understood then, as we do today, that if we fall prey to division, to dissent and discord, we will never achieve our aims. He would have taken a dim view of leaders within our ranks who sow division, who want to divide our movement. He was a unifier and we should follow in his footsteps to be unifiers, to unite the African National Congress, to make it strong so that it can get stronger and be able to achieve the dreams and the aspirations of our people. As a country, we are faced with great many challenges, but we will overcome them if we are united and work together as a people. In 1964, the poet W.H. Auden wrote, when a just man dies, lamentation and praise Sorrow and joy are one. What he was, what he is fated to become depends on us. Remembering his death, how we choose to live will decide its meaning. Close quotes. As inheritors of the great legacy of Dr. A.B. Koma, we must indeed choose how we wish to live. We can surrender to pessimism or we can come together and surrender to defeat or better still, we can resolve that we want to come together to transform the fortunes of our great nation. We remember him and we will continue to live out the values for which he stood. They are the values contained in our constitution. They are the values of compassion, of empathy, and of helping others. He lived up to the motto of his school, Clarkberry Institution, here in the Eastern Cape, which is lift as you rise. As he finds his final resting place, on behalf of the government and the people of South Africa, I offer our condolences to his family, but want to encourage them to also have great memories, great memories of his contribution that he made to the freedom of our people. But we also want to thank the family for having loaned him to us, loaned this great man to the nation, this great man, the son of the soil. I also want to thank the government of the Eastern Cape, particularly the Premier, 
for honoring the request of the Tuma family for their father to be reburied here where he was born. Your actions are a practical demonstration of the need to keep our history alive so that it is imparted to the younger generation. Dr. Alfred Bartini Kuma played his part and in his memory let us all do the same. As we sit here, as we remember him, we are all endeared and called upon to do our part as he did his part. We bid him farewell together with his wife. He was a good and faithful servant of the people of South Africa. Rest in eternal peace, my president. You will forever be remembered and you will never be forgotten. I thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Comrade uh, President. In Zuma was on Shabella on stage, but when I was a room son in Lamtu, I decided not to harass you. Because I can say call it too until we get to the the graveyard. Masfumane Ubawo Umtetele Kuma. On our behalf, uh, President, we will a family. Bogus Bole, Ubao Kum. Slindelegan Ubao Umtetele Kuma. As a good and a bong Gaban Balab, Babelabanam.
मलजा मंगाली जाला नेशनल कॉन्ग्रेस नफ्रिका इंकोली 
ICO, ye National Heritage Council, the rules are zonke in Kokeli Zagwali is we as Koyo Apan, Bully is a bonke Ababantu, Abakwele Apan, I'm Sanje, Bumbuto Siswe, Got Dr. Batini Toma, Mongameli, Nam Sanje, Sitata El Tuba, Logo Basi, Quele Lukuluman, Rosulo Sapo, Usapo Elazalwa, Ubawo U Alfred Batini Toma, Usapo Gamanga, Oazala U Alfred Batini Toma, Umangali Oazalwa Mutu, Utoba Oazalwa Munayana, Oazalwa Mumbo, West Gamdi, Sitata El Tuba Logo Gbana, Sibulele, Singala Mandela. The attendant of the Monga made a long treasure, said Betele, Elogo Bana, O Alfred, O Zalwa, who lent to Yaguatuma, go to Atena, go to Kubana, Ion to Londo, Gatuma, who pay. Citizen is a Bubundila, Gamandila, and Amsangelana, Azoguchi, and goes. O Hulumente was some Zanz African Goguba, Omne Wabo, Ete, Uza, Ben Amsange. Uza fumana upumla go pribela, we kayalak. Monga meli si ziva si wongi kile namshange. Indo kubana si be namshange si tuele apa. Eka men lo hulmente we African National Congress. Tina esiazi yo indo kubana. E African National Congress gumbuto. Onenjebe ezivule gile yo ezivayo. Iyo londo namshange si tuele apa monga meli. Saze saketa olsu kuna mshanje lo mshawe spozo Kule nyanga kama chogu zalu wakake utatu mkulu wetu Sisiti mwonga melika siliketa olsu kubana simbeke ngogucha Sifsenza sikete olona suku kwezi nsuku zake Ezi zauti ibe lusuku kotwa elilogu vuya kuba asisalili nga mguku Sifuyela ukubuyela kwa haki Sisiti ke Si ya khalela indo kukbana Olu sugu ibe lusugu ya sauli sebenzi isa Ukutina Yonke imbali ya kesimane sikumbuza na ngayo Icho isuge pichula lento simane sisiti noko Ikoni nduwe singa ikoni yo Na mshanje ni kwintekile sisikalo salo ndo isi Ukbana sipeke pambi Mwonga meli masbule ele selelikaya Ngeli wonga silifumeneyo na mshanje Sifumana eli wonga, eli nikwe, notato mkuluwe tu eli kuzinga, eli pezu. Indo esi nga soku uzesi ili baale leo na mshanchi. Tina si nga mandila nguku, siti silungisa imbali. Sipala nguku ucha imbali yetu, ebikate ilashiki. Kuba apa ekaya, kufika abantu besiti bazo chonga, apo abekwe kona utato mkulu. Bafike nge eko si mkomba kwela se khauti. Koto wake nguku si lande la umuwe no waki. Woko kubana ufunu ba pakati kwa bandu bako kwa abo awa mtandayo. Si albule la indo kukubwa munga meli elo pupali etu na mshanje li feze gisewe. Na lomba alisibe si ya ilungi isa na mshanje. Masbule lege munga meli la mazu o mkazenga awo na mshanje. Woko kubana ebe inko keli enjani. Nebo na keleyo indo kukubana ya igu zinga el pezu Eya nika umkomba njela indo kukuba Eli lizu eliza upeka apina Nange kresha ke umbuto umkulu owa usenwa gini Bona ke monga beli nditlangu kuchino kukubana This is the only president of the African National Congress That led the ANC nga makresha ama bini During the time of colonialism and the time of apartheid Uye ke u Dr. A. B. Kuma owa ba na yolo nyeba. Yo kukuba na akoke le African National Congress. Ukuba. Ebe kona monga meli na mshanje. Si kinseki ile kuti ebe za kuti. Nancy i African National Congress. Gumbu uto luna. Bando anabamu na basu gulu anabamu. Zenu uti inelo mbu uto nunga ulati. Kwa ye ndi asenze so sbo pelelo monga meli. Indo kukubana asinago ula shalom buto Sagwe nzanjali indo kukubana African National Congress 
Ia laula ipege pambi. Man betele le monga meli ndoko kubana. We nano mbuto wako o ukogeleyo na mshanje. Ufuneka nizive tanifika kwe la kaya. Indoko kubali kaya lenu elia. Ninga bina chuchu taninge na paya. Sitibani ise izi mfo. Kumzi mbe tunega kutike nwenga awo. Longe lo tresha china sa usoloko sila mke. Siti tata kelo tuba kemonga meli sisi chundo kubwa. The African National Congress, like Kaya Lelulia, now we monga me this net term in Europe. I seek to be the sanga and I'm change. Nanjemo kubuchilba ikone nyindo kumazu ako ogufula. Efanelba isale. Masbule leke kungulumbuso yel pondo la sembu makolo nukulmende wembu makolo nukubans nukubake kungulumbuso uitale lendo siti tasa sitel na we kwe la Kaya Lelu. Ui mamele londo utu wakufika ipukulu mendini. Uyenze ibe indo imbumelela, e imbumelelo. Indo kubana mshanje sibese ya wabuisa ama tambo katato mkulu wetu. Sibule la kakulu ya anga ke utiko anganitri ina anikulise. Sibule la kekwi nko sivile zwe la kuhitu nko kubana mshanje sibe na ati apa inkokeliza kwa lizwi. Sibe la apa na ye uonke umtu ola apa na mshanje siya mbule. Si ubule la ke umyale zo. Si utata nge zanta zo zbini. Usuka kwe kaya la kwa sisuru. Elinye ke lama kaya tina esi litata ngo kuba. Li kaya le tule zbini. Kufine ka sisolo kwa sinu mbene na lo introko. Si ayamke la londo kwa tamela. Indo inkuru leo si ibule la kakuru. Monga meli ndi vile ke indo kukba. Noko unenye i assignment. Kwenye indawo. Auzu kwa zi ukukuba kona na atipaya ekaya. Uyo kibeze la umsebenzi. Sifuna kukuti mwonga melisi ya kukulula. Asina angalondo lowo umtumileyo. Sa kusebenza na yeti na kuba usenza kwa lomsebenzi. Ebe su utunyewe ubana mawenze. Ukulmende nombuto omkulu. Klasisuka kia papa nwa kukwetu. Siza mtata kesi yombeka. Paya ekaya njenge spelo. Kutu wa kee. U program director, we have to prepare the is new in Kukata. Si bule la kakulu, si bule la ngonga zinzi siyo in goals. In goals kakulu da kakum. Masa ni prepare the langeliti. Apo si zambe kakona. Indao. Angeke iski nye songe silap. Kya kya elwa ke ukloba. Ingo keli. Sibe kona pa Chongo bae family za makona Kwa tabanya bando sa wakelo Basta la bendendi Paza oye wena bendendi Kubaka logo Sosil fumani tuba sisonge pa Mazi Masibule nga maso ya ako Kuba umdu ufunda Gobo mimi kaba utoma Obo upalwe ako Unga kolwa Kuba Be ambilula Kota kwa ufunda ngobo mbake, obu ngeko apa, tipa, ngobo mbake. Ngabono kubwa ingo keli lena, eha kali seti nani, ilo onde ya kwa zio kokeli African National Congress. Nesi abule la natike ngobo mbake. Ngobo ke, kufika elitlesha loba, sibize, uchaplain, general, uchamangili, azo skoke lange, ngonzo. Eee... Ninga tula, ninga tula. No kafiki apa na manza, tula.
Commander-in-Chief of the South African National Defense Force, His Excellency the President, permission to conduct these devotions, sir. <laughs> Master of Ceremonies, Your Honorable MEC, the Commander-in-Chief of the South African National Defense Force, the President of the Republic, the Premier of the Province, all our national leaders at government level and also down to local level. We support Lagwa Baukuma. Queen Kosi Zelizwe Lagoit. To the military chief mourner, Lieutenant General Simang. The chief of staff of the South African National Defense Force, Lieutenant General Yam. To the chief of the Navy, Vice Admiral Shongwan, and all the members of the military command and military command council, and the members of the secretariat that are with us this morning. To all our distinguished guests in the sight of God, to our church leaders from different denominations, and to the choir that have just led us, Gomkulo Omnat. What did Dr. Kuma do in the sight of God? Despite what he did in the sight of the people, Our text this morning for this tribute to the memory of Dr. Alfred Batini Kuma, the then President General of the ANC, comes from the Old Testament book of the Second Kings. Go and read it from the 15th chapter. This is indeed a very profound passage of the scriptures. In this sense, it deals with the life and the times of one of the few God's chosen leader whose walk and talk was beyond reproach. The story of his life and his times is summed up in only a hundred and seven words and all his entire life is laid bare. However, there is one verse that encapsulates 
and reflects in vivid clear tone what his personality, his character, and his relationship with God was together with his fellow men. The verse simply says, he did what was right in the eyes of God. When the Ogulungileo Pamkobuso Bugati. Kutwa Ubulumko Boka Kukoyika Uti. Such was President General of the ANC, Dr. A. B. Kuma. He did what was right in the eyes of God. What a powerful and tremendous testimony to leave behind. What a lasting legacy. What a deep, gracious tribute to pay to him. For he did what was right in the eyes of God. He was a man who was way ahead of his time, who recognized the worth of every human being as created in the image of God. Dr. Kuma understood that doing right things comes at a time with a high price. He strove untirelessly to lead the ANC with justice, equity, and fairness. For he was persistent that right was right because to him right mattered. In God's economy of things, when you do right, God will bless you. God will prepare a table for you in the presence of your enemies. Even when facing persecutions for right, you have to be prepared to go all the way with right. The President General had an unswerving faith in what he knew was right, no matter what the consequences. From the President General, life we learn this morning that if you have standards or convictions about what is right and wrong if your soul and your integrity means something to you if your self-respect is not negotiable if your faith and your religion have said to you this far and not further, then some things you will be against and you will oppose some people because of those convictions. Life will demand that you take a stand and make choices about what you will live for and what you will fall for. In paying tribute to Dr. Kuma's memory, we are living testimonies to a life that proved 
that winds of adversity may bend you but if you are on the right side of history they cannot break you like the president general of the ANC Dr. A.B. Kuma we learn that those who reject you cannot keep God from raising you up. Those who refuse to support you cannot keep God from sustaining you. How blessed are we this morning to know that God accomplishes what God starts. What God promises, God performs. What God declares, God delivers. What God begins, God completes. Dr. Kuma did what was right in the sight of God. So, let us go and do the right things at the right places with the right people for the right purposes so that we can get right results. Let Dr. Kuma's remains finally rest in his beloved soil. To the family, we thank you for cooperating in all respects with the South African National Defense Force. To Reverend Sonamzi, thank you for looking after the family in our absence. To the AME ministers, thank you for your presence. And to all the people of our country, God bless you all. I thank you. The following military protocols will be observed. The pole bearers, Brigadier General Mongo, Brigadier General Mketo, Brigadier General Zomo, Brigadier General Matanda, Rear Admiral Junior Great Gogi, Brigadier General Heno, Brigadier General Maso. The bearers, Master Warren Officer Jevuka, Master Warren Officer Kumalo, Master Warren Officer Muchong Chen, Master Warren Officer Maduman, Master Warren Officer Somke, Master Warren Officer Makwale, Master Warren Officer Lo. Master Warren Officer Mkachwa, Chief Warren Officer in Charge, Warren Officer Mufome. I thank you. Take post.
I'm off.